Hi everyone. I'm here. You guys are probably like, hi, um, it's been three weeks, asshole. I can explain. The past three weeks have been... So last week I went to LA and the day before I left for my trip, one of my cats went missing. Do you remember this Instagram post? Yeah, it's this cat right here, Charles. It was a really quick trip. So I was expecting to go come back and he'd be back. Got home and he wasn't back. I can't really say much about the location where we last saw him because I would be leaking my address. <laughs> So I thought in order to cheer myself up, um, I would uh, fuck with some people. That is my favorite form of therapy, in my opinion. So a few months ago, my dad actually texted me a link to this. It was like a trailer or like a teaser for this new dating app. And I was like, what the fuck? It is an app for conservative people. Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I've got to tell you about something I am so excited to announce. A dating app for all of us conservatives. It's called The Right Stuff and it's launching this September. First of all, it's free to use. And for my ladies, you'll never have to pay because we all get premium subscriptions. Gentlemen, if you want access to premium, that's on you. And by the way, those are the only two options, ladies and gentlemen. Like, the way she looks like she's announcing either the Hunger Games or the Purge. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the only two options. I feel like she just called me a slur and she didn't even have to say it. People who share the same values and beliefs as you. They'll start off by building your perfect profile. No pronouns necessary. That. That's what got me. My jaw dropped. Favorite photos of yourself doing what you love. I, what was that? Okay. James. Something very sinister is at play here. We're sorry that you've had to endure years of bad dates and wasted time with people that don't see the world our way, the right way. I don't even need to speak. I, I don't even, like. And now that you guys know what this app is, I'm going to catfish men on it. I'm incredibly terrified. I tweeted this last week. I was in a Rite Aid and the cashier looked me dead in my face and called me ma'am. I looked just like this. I was in a hoodie and probably a hat. And she said to my face, would you like a bag ma'am? And you know what I did? Absolutely fucking nothing. I said, sure. I'll do a bag. Make sure to go follow my Instagram and Twitter if you want to be included in future videos or send me numbers for future prank call videos. And also if you find my cat, let's just mosey on down to my DMs real quick. Thank you. So first step, I need to create my alter ego that is gonna be on the right stuff. Here's a lovely picture that we will start out with. Um, I'm gonna go to gender and we are gonna flippity floppity real quick. Let's try female, just regular. Uh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> It looks like a mullet, but wait, why am I kind of like, I'm kind of killing it. Let's try female too. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what is that? I'm scared. Oh my God, kill it with fire. Wait, but I'm kind of slaying though. Makeup four, it's getting worse. I don't know what, like, Miss Americana. <laughs> Oh my god, from the viewfinder, that looks like a girl. I'm gonna try a different picture. Okay, let's try this picture of me. Whoa, she's a baddie. Oh my god, she's rich. And I love how they just like gave me a side part. Is that, would that be my like thing? I'm into it. She looks like an, like an Octavia. Like she looks mysterious. Like I feel like she would be like a spy. I look bad as fuck. This one's cute and I don't know, for some reason I feel like a conservative would just like love a girl in a flannel. You know, could like chop her own wood. Would. <laughs> Why is my hair so thin? I think I have decided on a name for my alter ego. I wanted a name with the first and last name being the same letter and I also wanted it to be both first names. My alter ego's name is Madeline Morgan. Everyone in the comments hype up Madeline. Oh, they're having a little party. Okay, get a room. Houston, Texas. What sex are you? Female. This can't be changed later. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? I don't think other dating apps say that. That 
feels like a dig. How tall are you? I think Madeline Morgan is, she's a cute girl. I'm gonna do 5'3", because Nicki Minaj is 5'3". I'm glad you said that. I'm not 5'2", I'm 5'3". I want to emulate that like teeny tiny, like you can put her in your pocket vibe. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Madeline Morgan is a Scorpio. I'll keep it my birthday. Where is your hometown? For my hometown, I'm gonna put Alabaster, Alabama. What are your ideal plans for your children? Want kids. She's willing to push some kids out for a strong, strong husband. Oh my God, I need to stop. What are your religious beliefs? Ooh, uh, put your default profile picture. Okay, I look hot in this picture. I'm a pretty girl. Pick five photos. I just turned the camera off for like 20 whole minutes because I needed to carefully curate who Madeline Morgan is. Okay, so picture one, her big old truck. This emulates, she's a tough girl. I feel like I'm becoming her. She's a, um, a girl boss. Second picture, he's gonna see this picture and be like, bingo. If I do this accent too much, I'm gonna get stuck in it. I gotta show off my home state. Oh my God, okay, so for this next picture, I went on Instagram and I searched up hunting. I found this picture of a girl and her dog, but it's taken from behind. Um, but Madeline Morgan is brunette. Um, she's not blonde. So I then went on to Facetune and turned her into a brunette. So that is Madeline Morgan hunting with her dog. <laughs> What should we name the dog? I feel like we should name it. Um, I think Sparky. Is that a lab? Sparky is in fact five years old. I got him <laughs> as a graduation gift. So we're lying now. Um, he is a boy and he loves belly rubs and he also loves to chase rabbits. <laughs> Sparky can also smell if you are queer. And last but not least, you guys are probably wondering, well, why did Madeline Morgan move from Alabama to Houston, Texas? Well, that is because she wants to be a network news anchor. I need to, s oh my God, I'm stuck. Well, I got stuck for a second. I think I'm stuck still. An all-American woman. I can pick music for my pictures? Wait, oh my God, this app, I'm kind of pissed this isn't for like the gay people. Oh my God, I'll do American by Morgan Evans because I'm Madeline Morgan. She's American. Yep, mm-hmm. No fucking way. Okay, create your prompts. Select your own response. A favorite liberal lie? I take pride in, I'm surprised I even use that word. January 6th was blank. What? My favorite conservative pundit is, the science is settled on. A random fact I love about America is, God, I just wanna put in like, just a wrong ass fact. Like one of the prompts says, one thing I'll never do again. I just put, Final. <laughs> Together we could hunt. A shower thought I recently had. Why isn't there a straight pride parade? I'll know it's time to delete the rat stuff when I find an amazing all-American husband that I can raise some beautiful children with. <sighs> I already have seven names picked out. If we match, ask me about them. <laughs> the guys who were on here see that, they're like, not good, thanks. I'm okay. <laughs> Invite required? What? After me looking at the reviews for this app, I was like, okay, but why are all the like conservatives like hating on this app? So I went onto Twitter. The plot fucking thickens. And I searched up the right stuff dating app. Cause I'm like, what is, what is going on with this app? Like there is something that we are unaware of. So someone tweets this, it's two screenshots of like, I think this is a comment. Okay, app asks about January 6th. When I was setting up my profile, it asked about January 6th and I was like, what the fuck? Why would they ask me that? January 6th was blank. What? So this person said, I said I was there because I was. I'm a patriot, that's why I'm on this dating app. I use this app for hardly an evening and it is a coincidence I get a call from an FBI agent the same day. Did y'all set me up? Okay, this dating app has my information now. I almost filled out that question like as a joke. This is another comment. Someone said, I answered the question about January 6th honestly and the next day I have two police officers at my door telling me that they got a call alleging that I was involved in domestic terrorism. I'm gonna panic. Does this, uh, am I now in an FBI database? I didn't, Madeline Morgan isn't real. I mean, she is. I was kidding guys. And apparently you can't delete your profile 
fuck. I just wanted to film a funny video and I think my number is now in an FBI database. Um, and I'm looking at the reviews and I shit you not, this is a real review from a Republican. The top line says, I value a lot of things. God, family, guns. This last paragraph. Oh my God. Back to the app. Haha. -ha. There is no girls on here that value God and Jesus Christ himself. If you want a gay filled app, Here's where you go. If you want left-wing media to control everything you do, this app is the one. Good luck finding a good girl on this app. Back to my lonely stuff. I got a dog, by the way. Wait, I'm not done yet. This review says this app is actually funded by Bill Gates. What happens is they take your photo and information and store it in a database that will be used in the future as a way to identify and exterminate all of us. Watch, tomorrow me and my mom are gonna wake up to a fucking knock at our front door. They're gonna go after Madeline Morgan and she's not even real. They made it invite only because it's a honeypot and that makes the data cleanup significantly easier by only pursuing targeted leads. I need to go into Madeline Morgan witness protection program. Susan? AKA the uh, CEO of YouTube. Will you be my witness in court that this was all just a joke? I am not actually Madeline Morgan and I, I was not at the insurrection. She was busy hunting and playing with Sparky. Someone tweets, gets a date with Liberty Girl 98. You go back to her place and notice that she's got this under her shirt. I'm going to go lock my front door. I'm gonna go put a sign on my front door that says Madeline Morgan does not live here. In parentheses, she is actually not real. Well, she's real in our hearts. It has been Madeline Morgan reporting on the weather. Back to you, John.